didn't even know. Just walked in like he owned the place. She will get paid. Those were the words he said to persuade my mother and father. The next day I woke. Next to my bed, a large suitcase. It just sat there, dead. I didn't know where I was going. Mom told me not to ask any questions. I didn't, but oh, how I wanted to. We just need more money. You'll be back in two months, my mother said. She lied. We left my house. We went to the train station. Mama was crying. She said goodbye, hugged me, then kissed me on the cheek. I got on the train with 20 other girls who seemed to be my age and older. I was scared and quiet. Not one peep came out of me or any other girl in that train car. There was an older girl who sat next to me. Where are we headed, I asked. Hell, she replied. My stomach churned with fear. I was confused and frightened. We arrived at a large factory building with gates all around it. There was a sign, Low Mill of Red. Inside we went. There was a large woman in the doorway that looked like the devil. She pointed to her rig where a schedule was hung up. The earliest we would have to get up would be 4 30. Girls around me groaned, and I do not want to hear any complaining, and if I hear one more groan, we will all be docked to day's pay. The devil snapped. Everyone was quiet. Another woman who was in the mini me of the devil led us up to the border <coughs> where we would sleep. There were bunk beds. We were put in alphabetical order from our last name. I was bunked with a girl named Mary. She was nice, very quiet, but nice. The whole time I bunked with her, I think she said five words, but none of us talked. We were talked, we were all just miserable. As the time went by, the conditions of the mill got worse. I got more and more tired each day. Mary died from mill fever, so now I was alone. I was beginning to feel like a suitcase, just sitting there dead. <coughs> I didn't know who I was anymore, and I just wanted to leave. I wanted to step outside to greet the glorious days. I was a kid. I didn't want to work. I just wanted to play. I wanted to go home to my family. I wanted to sleep in my own bed and smell my mother's home-cooked food. My mother, all the words I would say to that woman for sending me to this awful place. Never will I forgive her. But all of a sudden, I'm happy. I'm in a happier place now. On that day, the day when he took me, maybe I left my hair down on purpose. Maybe I wanted the machine to grab hold of my hair. Maybe I didn't want to be on the earth anymore working in the factory, suffering. Maybe I really did want him to take me. Maybe, just maybe. But now I'm happy. Really happy.